Today, we're gonna take your palate to Asia and make gyozas. Whether you call them pot stickers or gyoza, it doesn't matter as long as you call them delicious. Golden brown little pockets of goodness. They're gonna get pan fried, be crispy, delicious. If you are a first time viewer to my little cooking channel, I of course am Annie, and this is Annie's Smoking Pot. It's my tiny home kitchen. But you know what? You don't have to eat microwave food if you live in a tiny home, if you're in a college dorm. You don't have to eat fast food all the time. You can cook really delicious meals, really delicious recipes right here. This amount of space. I've got one induction burner. If you check out my other videos, I've got an air fryer that I take out from time to time. Okay, probably 80% of the time I take that air fryer out, but that's it. And I make good food, healthy food. Well, I think it's good. I think it's healthy. So shall we get started and make some of those gyozas? Let's go. Pork, mm -hmm. right? Start with pork, pretty easy. And then mushrooms. Now I am using shiitake mushrooms today. You can use creminis if you'd like. You can use bluefoot mushrooms, portobello mushrooms. You just wanna use one that's got an earthy, almost beefy type flavor to it. And because they are going into pot stickers, you wanna make sure and chop it up really finely. It's gonna go really fast. Next, we've got chives. I am using regular chives this time. You can use garlic chives. I couldn't find any. You can't find them? Just use regular chives. It works just as well. Again, very finely chopped. Powers of editing. And into the bowl, obviously. Cabbage. Let's add some of that. So we're just gonna use a little bit of it. Finely chop. Oh, this rib right here. Don't cut that. You can cut it out if you're gonna use the whole thing. Get rid of that rib part. Since I'm not using it, it doesn't matter. You just don't wanna eat that, it's really fibrous. <laughs> Gotta make some room. Oh my goodness gracious, that's a mess. We do have other things as you can see right here that we are going to be adding in. But before we do that, I wanna go ahead and get all this mixed up. Otherwise, if you were to take this and dump it in there right away, that cabbage is gonna absorb a lot of it and so those flavors are not gonna get blended in there really well. So always mix your, your meat mixture first before adding your sauces. Oh, the smells that are coming off of this are just so good already. Now we're gonna add in our sauce ideas. We have got some ginger paste, garlic paste. If you do find garlic chives and you use that in this recipe, omit the garlic paste, otherwise it's gonna be way too much garlic. Little bit of soy and a little bit of sesame oil. And once again, just mix it all together. Step two, wonton wrappers. Look at that, pre-made, ready to go, delicious. Take that little bad boy, put some filling in there. Make sure you don't overfill it because you do need to be able to seal all of the edges. Otherwise you're gonna have a big old mess. Doesn't have to be pretty, just has to taste good. A little bit of water around the edges. That is what helps it seal. And pinchy. And if you put too much filling in there and it starts to ooze out like that, it's okay, just pinch it on out. And there we go. All right, I'm gonna show you one more time. Then we're gonna fast forward because you don't need to see me do 10 of these. Wonton wrapper, or eight of them. I'm not sure how many I'm making. Filling right in the middle. Okay, water around all the edges. That's what helps seal it. And we pinch. Number two, just like that. All right, I'm gonna buzz through the rest. Now that we've got that done, did you like that? Boom, 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 so fast on your end, not so fast on my end. Get our skillet, you're gonna put a little bit of oil in there. Just a neutral, non-flavored oil. You wanna make sure and coat the bottom because you don't want these guys to stick. Now that we've got that going at a medium heat, you're just gonna take them and just lay them down in there, then water. Now you don't wanna submerge them in water. Basically what we're doing is essentially going to steam them in the water, but you wanna make sure that there's enough that they cook before the water runs out. 
you just kind of want to make sure that the whole bottom of your pan is covered. Put your lid on and we're going to let these go for about five to seven minutes because we are using pork. This is what's going to cook that pork through. But when we take the lid off, there is some more cooking that's going to happen to help crisp them up and make sure it is in fact cooked. But right now, about five to seven minutes on medium to medium low, let them steam. It's been five minutes. So we're going to go ahead and take our lid off now. Be careful, they get hot. Woo! And turn your heat down to about a low now because we don't want them to burn. Give them a little shake to make sure that they're not sticking. And now is the crisping up side. We're gonna let them go. And then when they get crisp on one side, we're gonna flip them over. If you are leery because it is pork, you are more than welcome to meat probe it and make sure you're at about a 160 to 165. Look at that, beautiful golden brown. I'm gonna go ahead and flip them. Let's go, little brother, let's go. Oh, those are looking just absolutely fantastic. With every good pot sticker, you gotta have a dipping sauce. This dipping sauce is so simple, but delicious. Soy sauce, just regular soy sauce, rice vinegar. Oh, as always, description below, full recipe, full amounts of everything that I've used. You don't have to try to guess how much I'm dumping. And sweet chili sauce. That's just gonna give it a little bit more of a sweet, salty flavor. And of course that vinegar, that rice wine vinegar is gonna give you that acidic punch to the face. That's it, such a simple dipping sauce, but really full of flavor. Oh my gosh, they smell amazing. You really smell the ginger that's in there. You know what, I'm gonna say these guys are done. And let's dish them up. Think they're cooled off enough? I can't wait, I'm going in. Ooh, mm. oh, it's so crunchy, oh. Mm, look at that. Oh, wow. That is cooked to perfection. It is crispy, but the inside has like a moistness to it. It's not dry at all. The dipping sauce, oh, you know what? If you want a little bit more heat, add some chili oil to that dipping sauce. I think that would kick it up even a, a notch. Anyway, I don't know what else to say, but make them. They're really, really good. As always, hit the subscribe if you haven't, hit the thumbs up, hit, leave me a comment. I am loving all the comments, by the way, that I've been getting throughout all the episodes. I love the interaction with so many different people from so many different places. It's just incredible how far Annie's Smoking Pot has reached, and it just, it, it just makes me so happy. Together we are creating a great community because we are making connections through food. Thanks for watching as always. Until next time. Bye. Dude. Here, here. You got to try this though first.